Praise the Lord and good morning to everyone. I am so delighted this morning that God has allowed us to be able to connect once again on another presentation of Rays of Hope. I am Apostle Robert L. Sanders Sr. And I am so grateful that you have joined me this morning. And I just believe that we're going to have a great time of sharing in the Word of God. And I trust that God is showing you daily how important you are to the body of Christ. He has made you important. Because he has chosen you in him before the foundation of the world. That means that you are important to God. That's why he said he's not willing that any should perish, but that all come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ our Lord. And so I'm excited about rays of hope because... God does not leave his people hopeless. So each time we come together, I trust that you will feel the rays of hope that is emanating from the word of God and the very God himself. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ is the word of God made flesh. And I am excited because I am a part of the body of Christ as well as you are. So I'm expecting a great time of celebration today in the word of the Lord. And I pray that God is blessing you and your family beyond measure. Now, let us... Now prepare to go before God in prayer. One of the most important things in the believer's life is to maintain his or her walk with God by continually having a prayer life whereby we can touch heaven from earth and earth and heaven can reach back and touch us because God has blessed us with the privilege and opportunity of talking with him through prayer. That's why the word of God said, men shall always pray and not faint. And I want you to remember this ministry. I want you to remember, praise the name of our God, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, and his continual blessings that he released into our lives on a daily basis. So let us go before God now and ask his blessings upon us. My Father and my God this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I am so thankful so grateful how you watched over us last night and how you allow us to rise this morning to see a brand new day. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. Father, I ask this morning in the name of your son, Jesus, that you would bless each and every one of your sons and daughters that have joined with us this morning and, oh God, allow your grace and mercy to flow in their lives. Answer their every prayer. Meet their every need, O oh God. And turn every midnight into day. And cause your people, Lord God, to rejoice in you. Because you are the God of our salvation. We thank you this morning, O oh Lord for this another wonderful day of grace and mercy and love and kindness. And Father, I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will remember, O oh God, 
the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ internationally. And Father God, I'm asking you to remember, O oh God, every one of your sons and every one of your daughters order their footsteps and allow them to become all that you have ordained for them to become. And Father, I'm asking you to bless rays of hope. Each time we come together, Lord, let rays of hope be reflected from your word that would find its place in the hearts of your sons and daughters. Father, we thank you this morning for hope because you are a God of hope and our hope is in you, Lord God. And we thank you and we praise you this morning for all of your graces and all of your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I am so grateful again that you have joined me today on another presentation of Ray's of hope. Praise the name of our great God. Now, we are in a series of messages uh, that is entitled, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. Make a note of that. Jesus is able to bless and keep you. That's a double that's a double blessing. Number one, he's able to bless. And after he has blessed us, he's able to keep us. Keep us for himself. Keep us walking in the straight and narrow path. So this morning, let us go to our foundational scripture that is found in the book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and verse 21. Go there with me this morning, if you would, in the name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord. This is what Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and verse 21 says. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. That's our foundational scripture on our series of messages on rays of hope during this season. Now, I've been, been sharing with you uh words of inspiration that reflect rays of hope. Under the subject matter, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. And I know that beyond the shadow of a doubt because I am a witness to the blessings of the Almighty. And Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, is with us at all times. And he is there because he promised, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Now, when we come together on Sunday mornings on Rays of Hope, I want you to always have pen and paper because I like to share with you uh, notes that you can record and possibly further your study on the given areas of the Word of God. Now, when we started, I gave you some notes 
And you should have right now at least four notes uh, under this subject matter. And uh, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. Note number one, you should have, he is able to establish us according to the gospel. He's able to establish us according to the gospel. And that was Romans 16, uh, 25 to 27. Note number two, he's able to supply our every conceivable and inconceivable need. That is, is, in, is in Ephesians 3 and 20. Note number three, he is able to secure the tempted under every condition of temptation. That is in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 to verse number 18. And note number four, under this subject matter, he is able to save to the uttermost. He is able to save to the uttermost. Hebrews 7, 23 to 25. He's able to save to the uttermost. Hebrews 7, 23 to 25. Now, I want to give you a new note this morning on Rays of Hope under the title, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. Note number five is this. He is able to guard from stumbling. He is able to guard from stumbling. Jesus, yes. He is able to guard you in such a way to prevent you from stumbling. So, in note number five, he's able to guard from stumbling. He's able to guard from stumbling. Praise the name of our God. So, I want you to look with me in the book of Jude. The book of Jude. There's only one chapter in Jude. So in Jude, uh, 20 to 25. Jude 20 to 25. Turn there with me and you will see in the word of God, that Jesus Christ is able to bless and keep you. And he is able to guard from stumbling. That's note number five. So let us look together, if you would, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Notice. Verse number 20 of Jude, it says, But ye, beloved, build up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Now, this is what we are to do. Keep yourselves in the love of God looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. 
Notice verse number 24 of Jude. Now unto him, Jesus, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. That's amazing. That's amazing. In all of our efforts, in all of our striving, in all of our commitment, in all of our loyalty in serving God, what the Lord has started in our lives, he will complete. Because the word of God says, he who begun a good work in us, he, Jesus, is able to perform it until the day of Jesus Christ, until he comes. So it is important, children of God, as we live our lives from day to day, to recognize that we serve a savior. We serve a God who is able to bless us and keep us. And one of the things that we should be mindful of, that he is able to guard from stumbling. Because if you stumble, you may fall. He's able to guard against stumbling. In other words, he leads in a plain path. He leads in a way that has been made by himself. And if the way has been made by himself, the Lord has a way of taking care of every obstacle that may cause you to stumble or to fall. He's able to guard you from stumbling because as you follow his lead, as you follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, he knows exactly where the pitfalls are. He knows exactly where the stumbling blocks are. He knows where the traps of the enemy have set for the child of God. And as he leads us and as he guides us, he leads us in such a way to guard us from stumbling because he loves us, he cares about us, and he wants us to complete that which he has begun in our lives. When we begin to walk with God, we do not know the way, but we follow him who is the way. And he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. So in our living from day to day, children of God, the word of God gives us hope. This is why I'm so excited about this new program, Rays of Hope, because it is my desire and is my objective to share with you rays of hope from the word of God. And the rays of hope is that Jesus is able to bless and keep you. In the emphasis we are placing at this moment under that umbrella that he is able 
to guard from stumbling. And as recorded so beautifully in the book of Jude, chapter 24, is a powerful verse that is so important to try to memorize so it will be indelibly recorded in your spirit so that you can live and walk accordingly each and every day of your life. Look at that verse once again. Jude 24, it says, Now, now, right now, now unto him, unto him, looking to him. He is the object of our faith. He is the object of our lives. He is the one who saved us. He is the one who delivered us. He is the one who gave his life for us. He is the one who exchanged his life for our life. He took our place on the cross of Calvary. We were not nailed to the cross. He was nailed to the cross. We did not pay the price for our sins. He paid the price for our sins. His blood was shed, not ours. His blood was shed. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. So Jude says, now unto him, Jesus, that is able that is able to keep you from falling, my God, and to present you faultless before the present of his glory with exceeding joy. That's powerful. Not only that Jesus is able to guard from falling, but he is the one that is going to present us unto himself. Keep in mind, we are the bride of Christ. And Jesus Christ himself is res responsible to, to present his own bride to himself. And in the final analysis of things, children of God, when the marriage of the Lamb is come, he's going to present each one of us who comprise the body of the bride of Christ to himself. And in his pre presenting us to himself, we will be presented faultless, without fault, without wrinkle, without blemish. And guess what? That's not our ability. That's his ability. This is what he has done. This is an expression of his grace, his mercy, his love, and his kindness. He has the ability to present you and me, his body, his bride, to himself faultless. Can you imagine? What's in our future? That the Lord, by virtue of his 
magnanimous grace and mercy will one day present us faultless to himself with all of the problems and issues we have had in our lives, in our future, our Savior, our Lord, our God will take you and me and present us to himself faultless, faultless, if though we have never sinned in our lives. Can you imagine only a God of love and compassion and grace and mercy is able to do such a thing. This is why Jude expressed it so. Now unto him, now unto him, he gets the credit. Not you, not me, not some prophet, not some evangelist, not some pastor. No one gets the credit but Jesus, because he is the one who went the distance, who took upon himself our sins in his own body. He bore our sins in his own body and they were nailed to the cross. The price of our salvation was paid in full by Jesus Christ. He himself, he paid the price. And the Bible said it pleased the father to bruise him and put him to grief. Why did he do it? He do it. He did it for you. He did it for me. And children of God, that should give us hope. That should give us a reason to praise him. That should give us a reason to worship him and to live for him each and every day of our lives, showing and expressing to the world that we've been born again, washed in the blood of the Lamb. And Jesus Christ himself is the one who is able to bless and keep you. Praise the name of our God. We're going to be presented faultless in his presence. Praise the name of our God with exceeding joy. You know what exceeding joy? That's joy be goes beyond regular joy. It's exceeding, exceeding, no limitation. The acme, the zenith of joy itself is destined to be experienced by the child of God. And verse number 25 of Jude says, to the only wise God, to the only wise God, our Savior. Did you, did you see that? Did you see the connection? To, to, unto, the only wise God, our Savior. So what Jude is saying, our Savior is God. <laughs> to the only wise God, our Savior. This is why the Word of God says, God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. We as Pentecostal apostolic believers, we believe in one God, not three gods. We believe in one God. We believe that God was so awesome that he manifest himself as God the Father, God the Son, 
and God the Holy Spirit. Are you listening? Our God, Father in creation, Son in redemption, and the Holy Spirit that lives in the believer. So when all this is all over, what we see is our God, the Elohim, the El Shaddai, the Lord Jesus Christ, redeeming and washing every believer in the blood of Jesus Christ, preparing us to spend eternity with him. And this comes through Jesus. This is why he said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Praise the name of the Lord. And Jude presented so beautifully to say to us that Jesus is able to guard from falling. Are you listening? Now unto him. Then he says in verse 21, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, be glory, and majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. The glory of God is an expression of the attributes of God. Now unto him, that's the kind of Savior and Lord we serve. And we serve him because we love him. Children of God, I see rays of hope that radiates from the presence and the word of God that he has given to us as his sons and daughters, that we can rest in him because we know that everything is going to be all right. Somebody need to give God some praise. Somebody need to give God some glory this morning in the name of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. God, he is able to guard from stumbling. Let me give you note number six. Note number six. Under the umbrella, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. Note number six, he is able to make us sufficient in service. He is able, Jesus is able to make us sufficient in service. He's able to make us Sufficient in service. Paul put it this way. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When the Lord calls us to do whatever he calls us to do, he also give us the ability or the enablement to do whatever he asks us to do. That's the kind of God we serve. It will be unfair, unkind, my God, if he asks us to do anything that we do not have the capability of doing. So anything that God asks you to do, before he asks you to do whatever he desires you to do, 
he has already gifted you with the capability or the ability or the know-how to do whatever it is. That's the kind of God we serve. But why? It's because without him, we can do nothing. We are always drawing and receiving from our Savior and our Lord and our God. So note number six says he's able to make us sufficient in service. You see, when we serve God, basically we are serving others because we are activating and carrying out our purpose for being born. When we are carrying out our purpose for being born, we are serving God's purposes. And when we serve God's purposes, we are serving others. Because God blessed people through people. This is why, as members of the body of Christ, we work homogeneously together so that each member blesses the other. Are you with me? And God has created things to be just that way. So, note number six says, he's able to make us sufficient in service. He's able to make us, to make us sufficient in service. That's something that we must always keep in mind. He is able to make us sufficient in service. And it's a blessing to serve. Amen? I say it's a blessing to serve. When you serve God, others are blessed. The Lord is glorified. The devil is horrified. This is why it is so important as a child of God to live in such a way that the world can see Christ in us. Are you listening? When the world see Christ in us, then the Lord is glorified because we are exposing his glory to the world. We are exposing his attributes, his abilities. We exposing who God really is as he uses us to his praise and to his glory. This is important, children of God, to always keep in mind that we are no longer our own, but we are bought with a price. And as being bought with a price, we are to serve God with all of our abilities, with all of our strength, and from our hearts, that he might be glorified and magnified and honored. Praise the name of our Savior and Lord. What I want you to do is put a pin right there, and we're going to pick up where we left off this morning and go further. We are stopping and closing on note number six. We will complete note number six the next time we come together. But I want you to stay in hope and believe that everything is going to be all right 
because Jesus holds your future. And as he holds your future, the promises that he has made to you and me is going to be realized because all of his promises are yea and amen. And remember, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. Yes, he is able to bless and keep you. And as he blesses you and as he keeps you, you become more and more like him each and every day of your life. And children of God, what a blessing it is to know that you are a child of God and to know that you're never alone and to know that the God is never absent in your life, that he's there every step of the way in every circumstance, in every condition, because he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you always, even to the end of the age. Guess what? He is with you right now. Guess what? He will never leave you. Guess what? You will never be alone. Guess what? He is with you even right now. In him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being. I am so glad this morning that you have allowed me to speak to your heart today from the word of God. And it's my desire to give you hope, rays of hope that comes from the God of hope the God who sits high but looks low. And I am so grateful this morning that you have taken the time out to spend with me on another presentation of Rays of Hope. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. And may the blessings of the Lord always be yours today, tomorrow, and forever. And keep in mind, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. That should give you hope now and throughout eternity. Thank God for each and every one of you Thank you for, you for being with me this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I trust that you will have a blessed day, a blessed day, and a blessed tomorrow, and a blessed future. Please don't forget to get a copy of my new book, Continue the run in 2021 and beyond. You can get a copy of the book. It's only $10 with a small shipping and handling fee. You can call the church office, 716 716-886-2199. 716-886-2199. And the proceeds from this book will be used to support my school in Liberia, West Africa. And I want you to pray for the school in Africa. Pray for the saints of God throughout Africa because of the pandemic is hitting Many of the places very hard. But keep in mind, children of God, Jesus is able to bless and keep you. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Father, I pray that you would bless your sons and daughters continuously and cause your face to shine upon them 
and give them perpetual peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you and we praise you. Bless, O oh God, the saints in Africa, throughout the continent of Africa. Father God, facing this coronavirus, bless and preserve and keep them in the name of Jesus. Bless the school, dear God. Apostle Robert L. Sanders Christian Academy, bless the staff and each one of the students and bless the saints of God, those that have joined me this morning, bless their families as well. And we will praise you forever in Jesus' blessed name. May God bless and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you perpetual peace. I love you. I thank God for you. And may the blessings of the Lord be yours always in the name of